Welcome to the application delivery how-to video series. My name is Brandon Anderson. Today we are going to cover the topic of how to complete the F5 migration process on Avi. Here we have the F5 migration process. The first step is to review the config. As you can see on the left, we have a virtual service config from a bigip.com. You can see the name, the IP address and port, persistence profile, the pool name, the profiles attached to the virtual service, and an in-use iRule named deny list. If we look at that iRule, you can see that when a client connects, if the IP address of the client is found on the deny list data group, the connection will be dropped. Looking at that data group, you can see that there are six individual IP addresses and a slash 24. We move from the review config to the in-use iRule. Since we have in-use iRules, we must go through this process for every, every iRule. Can this iRule be satisfied with native Avi functionality, an HTTP or a network security policy, or a data script? For this iRule, a network security policy will work. We move over to our controller. I have a test virtual service that I'm going to edit. I click on policies, network security policy, click the green plus mark, enter the exact name of the I rule. And for matching rules, we want to match the client IP address. And if it is a part of the IP address group, which I've created in advance, you can see the six IP addresses and the slash 24. I'm going to save that. So if it does match the client IP address, we want to deny it. We'll save the rule, save the virtual service. Now that we've created the policy, we can move over to the custom config script step. The custom config is going to log into the, into the controller, grab the raw JSON, convert it to YAML, and put it into a file that can then be called with the migration tool. To run the script, I simply call the script, enter the controller IP address, enter the version, the tenant, the username. As you can see, we've created the converted iRules YAML file. Looking at this file, you can see that on our match, if it matches the client IP address with the IP address group, and if it is in there, our action is to deny it. Then we're going to run the migration tool, calling the, the tool with the bigip.com file name with our controller version of 21.1.2. We want to create one network security policy and reuse that with all the other virtual services that have it in use. We want to Ansible output. We want the migration to pull, migration tool to put all of our files into the test run directory that it will create while it's running. And we're going to call that file we just created. The only two virtual services in the scope are the one that I demoed for you and another one that has the same iRule on there. So when you run that, you see the migration tool working. You can see our total errors are zero. So our test run directory has been created. There is a playbook to create, a playbook to delete, log files, an Excel output, and then the JSON. To run this playbook to our controller, we're going to call the Ansible playbook in the directory, and we're going to call extra variables that have our controller IP address, the username, and the password. While this is running, we can look and see in the create playbook that here's your IP address group. 
here's your network security policy matching what we had before. And your virtual service config, there's your name, with the network security policy reference of the night list. We move over to our controller. You can see your two virtual services that we just migrated are created with your network security policy. So now that we've run the migration tool and verified, we have an optional, optional migration report you can run that's gonna output everything to an Excel document. And if there's no errors, then your migration is complete. Thanks for watching. Please check out our other videos in our application delivery how-to series.